and I'll be building a Starfield spacecraft inspired by the Romulan Bird of Prey. It's Cersei's ship on the live stream, and we're about to lose it. She's bent on starting a new life in a new universe as a Starborn. Uh, for this ship, you'll need to be level 40, have Starship Design Rank 3, and piloting 4. You'll also need a ship builder in one of your outposts, so you can use all the pieces that you've learned at the various star yards. And you'll need to pay a visit to two different star yards for unique pieces that were obtained along the way by Cersei. Uh, thanks for watching my ship builds. Thanks for all the comments and suggestions you've left on the channel. And thanks for subscribing so you can see future content. If you have a chance, come watch the live stream at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We'll be streaming Starfield, Minecraft, Baldur's Gate 3, and Valheim. So let's get to it. Okay, we want to start uh, the build with the 120 LD landing bay from Deimos. Move that to the center. And then behind that, you see we've got uh, the link on the top here. Uh, but in the back, we're going to put the Deimos companion way one by one. And then just to get it out of the way, we're going to put our 100 DP slim docker right underneath that. Okay. Now on either side of the Deimos companion way, I'm going to put some Caravel V102 cargo holds. You don't have to do this, and certainly we can uh, delete them and see if our mobility goes up by a whole lot uh, after that. But uh, behind the Deimos companion way, we're going to place the SF-30 sheared flow reactor from Dogstar. That requires piloting rank 4 because it's a C-class uh, reactor and Starship design rank 2. And that goes lower level of the sheared flow reactor up against the Deimos companion way, uh, leaving connections uh, one module above it, right behind there. And then on either side of that, I put the Caravel V102 cargo hold from Protectorate Systems for more cargo. Okay. Great. So now we're going to go to the second level of the ship. We're going to leave the uh, landing gear for uh, after we have uh, places to attach it. We're going to start with the uh, Nova Cowling. We're going to start actually with the Deimos control station, the 2x1 control station. It adds four crew stations. I had the dream, it's not going to happen in this universe, but I had the dream that we would have eight crew members at some point. Uh, so that goes on the front of the sheared flow reactor and creates uh, a connection to the landing bay right underneath the front side of this uh, habitation here, the Deimos control station. Now on either side of that, we're going to place the Deimos workshop. I like having a place to uh, work on my guns and my spacesuits, and that connects directly to the side of the Deimos control station. We're going to put a Deimos all-in-one berth on the other side so that I can have a place to sleep off my ailments and or get all of my health back uh, without using a med pack. Okay. Now to create the uh, the wing shape, we're going to start with the Galleon S202 cargo hold. Now the option to this here, this is a uh, massive 200 and carries 950 cargo. And uh, I like to carry a lot of cargo because I like to have anything that I could possibly need to uh, outfit my spacesuit or my guns uh, on the ship uh, or to build outposts and that sort of thing. So. But you don't have to do that. If you'd rather, you can use the structural. And uh, I believe it's the Tayo mid cap. And you can hit Z to rotate that around. You can see that creates the uh, same shape and attachments uh, as this uh, Galleon S202 cargo hold. Okay. Let's delete that. We'll go on to the other Galleon S202 cargo hold on the other side. 
And then I'm placing some Nova 1030 engines. I know it's a B style engine, but it kind of creates the uh, reverse teardrop shape cowl that I want for the sides of the ship. So it's a class B engine from Relidine requiring Starship Design Rank 3. And that has 3,915 maneuvering thrust. Max power of three, so we've added six power to our engines at this point. Okay, on the back of the either uh, either side uh, of this control station, there are these two halves here will connect the Nova Cowling 2L PA. This is the this is the aft version of this, and you might notice from the Crimson Fleet Quest, I have the Conduction Grid attacked, attached here. Reduces EM damage by 50% and increases shield regeneration by 25%. But you get that on the Crimson Fleet Quest. We're going to attach this other cowl back here. And that also has the comm spike on it. Time to lock on to enemy ships is reduced by 25%. And weapons cost 20% less to use in targeting mode. I don't use targeting mode, but... Uh, the time to lock on for the missiles is great. And then we're going to place the RD-3000 Beta Grav Drive. Uh, Class B Grav Drive, but it has 36 Grav Jump Thrust. Between the two cowlings. Okay. Now we're going to create the front of the ship. We're going to start with this Nova Cowling 2LSF. Along with the engine, sort of uh, creates a reverse teardrop shape to the ship. We'll put another Nova cowling. Uh, both of these go on the front of the Galleon S202 cargo hold. Then we might as well put our DS30.1 Ares Bridge cargo 300 crew stations up to eight. We're going to put that right there. Now, originally I had all this uh, negative space here and was trying out radiators and some other things, but I did find some pieces that fit. Uh, against the inside of the cowling here. And the first piece is the Deimos Wing B for starboard. Uh, that fits in there. And this Deimos Wing B fits on the uh, aft portion of the inside of this Nova cowling. And then the Deimos Wing D fits there. And there. Okay. Now we can get on to the next level. We're creating sort of an S shape with these Galleon S202 cargo holds. So I've rotated this one around until its little connector here it attaches to the outside of the ship. It also has a connector on the bottom. I'll place that right there on top of the other one. Okay. Then we're going to use the Stroud Engine Bracer A on the outside of that connection. Outside of the cargo hold to the Stroud Engine Bracer A. All right. Then we're going to connect, uh, connect the Stroud Cap A, port 4, bottom. And once again, you can rotate these pieces by hitting Z. Okay, get the bottom connection there. Same thing on this side. And then we're going to use the Sal 6830 engine, C-class engine with 8800 maneuvering thrust from Slate and Aerospace. And that goes behind here uh, with one module level connection above it that we're going to use to place the other cowling. Just a classy first time chat. We are building the... Uh, ship that Cersei flies in the live stream and this is inspired by the Romulan bird of prey. Thanks for joining the stream. Now you're famous because this is going up on YouTube. We're going to put the Stroud Cap A starboard four top on top of this other uh, Stroud Cap A uh, creating a full cowling for both levels of the SL 6830 engine that we have behind here. Okay.
All right. Now we're going to create some more cowling for the ship. I decided I wanted a full teardrop shape, so I've used this Nova Cowling 2LTA um, in the aft position back here. And I'm currently using a Nova Bracer in front of that. And in front of that we have the 500T helium tank from Ballistic Solutions that has 210 grav jump fuel. And then in front of that uh, just for cowling, we're going to use the Deimos Cowling 4. Thank you very much. I dressed up for you. It is a little bit cold in my server room, however, so got the coat on. Um, to create sort of the look of the tail of the Firebird, we're going to use the Deimos Wing A in the aft position on either side. And then I colored those red. So we'll go over coloring here in a minute. Uh, but let's go ahead and get the landing gear on the ship. The first piece that you'll need to uh, visit a star yard for a unique piece is this Ares Bridge, and you can get this at the Deimos Star Yard. Okay. And then we're going to go and we're going to put this landing gear underneath. This is the second piece that you'll need to visit a uh, star yard for. This is the NG20 landing gear 4 from uh, Nova Galactic, Nova Galactic Star Yard. Uh, which has its current headquarters uh, in New Homestead on Saturn's moon of Titan. Okay? Because their star yard that is in orbit has been taken over by spacers and, eclip and, and ecliptic, ecl ecliptics. So here is the 320CB landing gear. It has three lander thrust. So that creates all the thrust we need for the ship. Now back here where we have this uh, Caravel V-102 cargo hold, you could place uh, landing gear in order to get to the star yards that you need to get to. Uh, we could also move this uh, Nova cowling or take it off completely, put another landing gear out there, take the cargo off. You can see I've got 5,300 cargo on this ship, so that's a lot. We've got two errors, and it mostly has to do with our shield and our landing gear. The shield that I like... Uh, is the uh, Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator from Vanguard, and that is a Class B generator. Uh, it takes 12 max power and has 1,450 shield max health. You can place that where you want. I like placing it over this uh, Nova Bracer. Okay. And then we're going to place the equipment plate for our Disruptor 3320 Neutron Turret right there. Now this will uh, go off automatically if we're being chased by hostile ships and it deals uh, 29 damage to the hull and 29 damage to the shield. We're going to put that in our third weapon system. Uh, that would be our uh, G button on the PC, uh, but that's just going to automatically go off. All right. We have plenty of places to mount weapons underneath, uh, so you can place these uh, where you like. And I like them right there and right there this is a pair of obliterator 250 me5 uh, alpha beams dealing 55 damage to the hull and 55 damage to the shield and requiring starship design rank one and then to finish them off with uh, some missiles once we've got lock we've got the atolatl 270c missile launcher and you'll see nominal right now on my ship, but that's because I had already assigned these systems. If you need to assign the systems, hit C and go to your weapon systems, and then you can choose for each of these. This is left click, uh, W0, and I've chosen the obliterator alpha beam. That's what I start with. Once I have missile lock, uh, I've got the uh, Adelatl 270C missile launcher uh, assigned to the right click, and then the... Uh, Neutron turret is assigned to uh, G, but I won't need to fire it by myself. And then you can hit close on that. I, I, uh, I really do enjoy this game. I'm, I think I'm getting to the point I've got hundreds of hours in it. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to uh, try and investigate some of the uh, secrets that are out there. Um, or make different choices during the game. Because this will be my uh, fourth universe that I'm going to. Now, Cersei's never been Starborn, but my original character, who was level 67, um, 
when I switched over to Cersei, she uh, she had already been uh, to a second universe uh, before that. So, all right, here we have the uh, ship that Cersei flies in the live stream, uh, inspired by the Romulan bird of prey. I'm going to go ahead and take off, and I'll take you to a new homestead so I can show you the unique piece that's there. Um, and then we'll go find the uh, Demo Star Yard as well. So let's exit this. Nominal build. And I believe we're on Neon. There she is, Romulan Bird of Prey. And we'll take off and go to the Sol system. It's cool to watch the ships take off. I'm going to add that to all of my Lift videos. Uh, sorry, so some of them in the past haven't, uh, haven't done that, but... So, yeah, that cockpit is uh, fantastic. Comes. Did you learn anything new from your book last night? Just tough to have to go get it at, uh, at Deimos, I guess. Pumping retros. <laughs> Don't pretend Orbit to be achieved. mad at me. I All right, know. there we go. Now let's go to the cell system. I'm going to hit M for map and then get out to uh, the full galaxy view here. Then we can head off to uh, Sol. And land at uh, New Homestead on Titan. So we can get that landing gear. <clears throat> okay, so let's go over to the ship technician and I'll show you that piece. This is a piece that's anything only I'm available uh, here at the uh, okay, Nova no Galactic Star Yard. We'll go in and we'll go to the ship builder. Back off from the ship a little bit over here and then hit G and go to gear. And there's that NG20. You see it's got four lander thrusts just for a single mounted piece there. Uh, now this is the uh, first variant. You've got a middle variant uh, that is for the middle of the ship. And then you've got a two lander variant as well, if that's uh, more aesthetically pleasing for you. Okay, but this is only available here at this star yard. Okay, so let's get out of here. We've already added those pieces and we have enough landing gear uh, with the two uh, landing gear that to have three lander thrust and two landing gear that have four, okay? Uh, for a total of 14 because of the amount of cargo that this ship holds. But now let's fly out to Deimos. It's also in the Sol system, so it'll be easy to get to. And you could put a placeholder, Always whatever a uh, to return to your ship. whatever cockpit you wanted to place on your ship, leaving Ships the room for the, the, the Ares point. bridge that we're going to get from Deimos. Okay, we're going to hit M on the star map, and then hit tab to back out one time, uh, and then you can see that the Deimos uh, star yard here, um, sorry, so there's, uh, Deimos is one of the moons of uh, Mars, and uh, this is the Deimos star yard, so you could end up, if you click on Deimos, that's this little thing here, this asteroid, this little uh, moon around uh, Mars. You hit tab again and then move your mouse a little bit more to the right, then you'll get the Deimos Star Yard. And we can travel there right now. I'd love to see that ship fly. The ship is really formidable with uh, 1450 shield capacity um, and the other C-Class weapons that I have on there. Uh, also, if you use your boost to get away from enemy missile lock, uh, your auto turret will be doing work the entire time. Uh, so that's really cool. When you pull up to a star yard, 
Uh, I like to keep my ship away from the star yard. All you have to do is uh, get within 500 meters. It doesn't matter if you're pointed directly at it. Uh, so this way I won't crash into the station uh, if I get distracted for a moment. Then once you're within 500 meters, you just hold down R and you'll dock with the station. And I'll show you where this uh, vendor is. It took me a minute to find him when I first came to the Deimos uh, star yard. Ship is now docked. I'm going to hold down X to board. And then we're going to run downstairs. So I looked for this ship technician all over the place up here. Uh, I wish uh, looked over the railing and saw Deimos him and, and then went downstairs. And there he is. One and he's going to have all kinds of, of stuff to say about uh, how he wants to uh, sell uh, his ships to the military and how Deimos is the best and all of that sort of thing. But let's just go in, view and modify our ships. I think you'll be more than satisfied. And I'll show you the options on the Ares Bridge. But you can only get here at Deimos, so. For the cockpits, they have the Phobos Bridge. I don't really like that. It doesn't cowl well with a bunch of stuff. Um, even some of the Deimos stuff, it doesn't cowl well with it. Uh, but you can get these various Ares Bridges here. Now, I've chosen the one uh, right here that has, I believe, that has 360 cargo. Mine only has 300 cargo. I could have upgraded. I have the base model on the Bird of Prey still. But it's still, in any of its configurations, it has eight crew stations. So you can get this initial uh, Ares bridge, this DS30.1 Mark I right here, uh, without having to have Starship Design Rank 2. Starship Design Rank 2 will get you this one. Starship Design Rank 3 will get you the DS-40 uh, Mark 1, and then the Mark 2. Uh, just a little bit more mass and a little bit more cargo. Okay? Well, thanks for joining us on the live stream. Uh, if you, uh, if you like this ship build, please subscribe so you can see my other ship builds. I really want to get some instructionals up here, but uh, thanks for bearing with me, being so patient. It's uh, taken some time to uh, edit some of those videos. So also check out the live stream if you have the opportunity, 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. In fact, tonight uh, we're going to go to a new universe. We're at the, we're at the, uh, at the temple, and we're going to uh, fight Starborn uh, for the last artifacts that we need uh, to jump to a new universe and the unity find out the consequences of our actions i hope to see you there i'm going to put, put up the uh, scheduled end screen uh, please check out my other social media and let me know what you're doing show me your ship builds uh tell me some funny things that happen in the game and uh, we'll see you next time on quest ALTV. tv